name is Lisa, and this is a vinyasa class I teach at Egan Community Center on Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m. Um, so this will be an all-levels flow. And um, before we get started, you might want to grab either a water bottle or if you have a block at home, um, grab a block. But if you don't, a water bottle can work just as well. So we are going to start um, on our knees. So coming down to your mat. Knees to touch, ankles to touch. We're gonna to take a traditional child's pose. So go ahead, if it works in your body, to rock your body forward. Release your forehead to your mat, your stacked fist, maybe even your block. And then with your arms, maybe they wrap around. So traditional child's pose, arms are tucked. So making your way, stay here. I'm gonna just lift my head so you can hear me a little better. Um, what I love about traditional child's pose is having our arms wrapped around us, especially in these times that maybe we're not hugging as many people as we usually can. Um, this can feel really good. It's a nice way to start. So whatever position you choose, go ahead and find some stillness and then take a deep breath in, inflate your lungs all the way. And a nice slow exhale through your mouth or your nose. We'll do that two more times together. Big breath in, fill all the way up. Ah, let that go. One more inhale, fill all the way up. Exhale, release that breath. And then if they aren't sealed, seal your lips. Breathing in and out through your nose. So keep the slow, deliberate breathing pattern of matching the length of your inhales to the length of your exhales. So vinyasa yoga is a practice of moving meditation. So we link our breath to movement for many parts of this practice. So right away, we're just gonna sink into that breath. As always, every single posture I will cue is optional. So just do the ones that work for you. If I offer a modification that isn't enough, feel free to go off script and take care of yourself. We'll move on and you can catch up when you're ready. If you're in traditional child's pose, go ahead and walk your hands out in front of you. Stretch them long, extended child's pose. Lift your hips, send your knees wide, and just for a moment, send your hips back to your heels. Let that feel good. Find a little movement. And then slowly roll up to your tabletop, stacking your hands under shoulders. Adjust your shins so they're parallel. Tabletop pose, fingers are wide and palms are flat on the mat. Lift your chin up and drop your belly. Take an inhale. This is cow pose. Feel that stretch along the inside of the front of your spine. As you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Push through your palms. Arch and round your back. Cat pose. Now with breath, inhale, belly drop. Chin lifts. Cow pose. Exhale to cat pose. Chin to chest. Arch and round. One more like that. Big breath in. Belly drops. Chin lifts. Broaden through your collarbone. Exhale, cat pose, chin to chest, arch and round. Hold your cat pose, walk your hands back to your knee. Slowly stack bone on top of bone. Once your shoulders are right over your hips, send your hands high. And then interlace your hands, put them right behind your head. Lift your chin and put the weight of your skull in your palms. Let your elbows feel fall wide open. Stay right here, or maybe it feels good to lift your chin and walk your gaze back any amount. A little engagement of your glutes, protect your low back, and then stack your shoulders over your hips, send your hands high, take a breath in, and then as you exhale, let your arms fall back and wide. So shoulders, elbows, and wrists are soft and gentle. And then let's just bring our hands, our heels of our hands, right into our um, sacrum. So pushing there, and then again, lifting your chin any amount, walking your gaze back any amount. Rise all the way up, send your hands high, breath in. Exhale, bow back to tabletop. And then right away, straighten your right leg. Feel your toes under, I'm cracking here. Rocking into the heels of your hands, stretching the back of your right leg. Option to, with the left toes flat on the mat, peel your left knee up. Send your hips high, or keep them low. And your left knee's gonna come down, right toes are gonna float. Keeping your toes flexed to the floor. Take a breath in and point. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, find length. Exhale, knee to nose. Again, big breath in. 
Exhale, knee to nose. And then go ahead and step your foot wide. I have to move my rug. And walk your hands back for gate pose. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, reach right hand to right leg, left hand up and over any amount. And then both hands come high, breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Send your right leg all the way behind you, cross at your knees, separate your feet. You might stay right here or walk all the way back and sit right between your heels. Cow face pose. Take your hands up, breath in. Exhale, side body stretch to the left. Left hand plants, right hand up and over. And we'll do the other side too. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, side body stretch, other direction. You might feel this in your hips. Come back to center. Bow forward, unravel your legs, come back to tabletop. Left side now, left toes reach back, left leg is long. Feel that stretch on the back of your left leg. Option to peel your right knees up, so you're really pushing into your hands. You can stay low or keep it planted or lift it high if you like that extra stretch. And then go ahead and send your knee back to the ground, float your left toes, inhale, point. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, draw it in tight. One more big breath in. Exhale, pull it in tight, and then from here, send it long for gate pose. Walk your hands back, rise up, inhale. Exhale, side body stretch, pause and breathe. And then both hands come back high, inhale. Exhale, bow down, float your left leg straight back, and then cross at your knees, separate your ankles. You can stay right here or walk yourself back. Put your hips right between your heels, cow face pose. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, side body stretch. We'll do both sides so it doesn't matter which one you start on. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, other direction. Inhale, both hands come high. Exhale, bow down, unravel, come back to tabletop. Curl your toes under. Pull your belly button to your spine and now hover your knees, hovering table. Stretching the back of your feet, pushing through your palms, broadening that space between your shoulder blades. Take another breath in. Exhale, push your hips high for downward facing dog. And now find a little movement that feels right in your body. You might pedal, one knee bends and then the other knee bends. And then eventually finding stillness. Know that your knees can be soft here, especially to start so think more about a nice, long, flat spine. So tuck your tailbone, or lift your tailbone rather to the sky, drop your ears between your biceps, and then straighten your legs any amount. They can stay bent or they can straighten, working your heels to the mat. Take a look forward, and then walk to the top of your feet. Bring your feet nice and wide, ragdoll pose. So again, knees can be bent a lot or a little. You can even rest your hands on your thighs if that's too much for your low back or come to standing. Whatever you choose, take some movement or stillness, you choose that. And then we're gonna release our hands and bring them behind our back for chest expansion. Of course, this is optional. Lifting your knuckles high, or you can just rest them on your low back. Take a big breath in. Release your fingers to the ground. Now walk your hands over to the left and Feel the stretch from your right pinky to your right toe. So you're pushing your right hip away. And then walk through center and we'll do the other side. So push your left hip away, reach your left pinky farther. So that's kind of a cross lateral stretch through your body. And then come back through center. Don't feel your feet to touch. With soft knees, we're gonna roll to stand. Once you get to the top, Bend your hands high. Exhale, hands to heart. Pause here. Ground into your feet. Firm your thighs and your glutes. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Inhale, your hands high. Interlace all 10 fingers and flip your palms to the sky. We're just going to tick tock our body for a deeper side body stretch. Inhale, find length. Exhale, hands to the right. Push your left hip off to the left. 
Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, hands left, hips right. Inhale, hands come high. Exhale, hands to heart and pause. So grounding into your feet to feel, feel stable. Reach tall through the top of your head. Take one more big breath in through your nose. Open mouth, exhale, let that go. And we'll begin to move. Bring your hands to your sides, mountain pose. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, little baby back bend. Hinge at your elbows, lift your chin. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Arms can swing wide or draw them through your heart center, so your choice. Take a halfway lift and pause. So knees can be bent or straight. Hands can push into shins. They can rest on your knees or your thighs. But think about how flat can I get my back? Draw your shoulder blades together. Take your sternum, reach it forward and up. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release to a soft forward fold. Looking back at your shins, rise all the way up. Inhale. Open twist to the right. Right hand back, left hand forward. Reach your hands high on an inhale. Exhale, twist left and keep breathing. Reach your fingers apart, twisting at the waist. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips with a flat back. Forehead reaches towards your shins. Take a halfway lift here, inhale. Exhale, plant your palms and step back to a high plank. From here, drop to your knees, drop your hips forward, lift your toes for scorpion dogs. Toes might touch, hips drop, heart lifts. Think about taking your collarbone and broadening it, lifting it up. Inhale. As you exhale, curl your toes under, push into the ball bones of your feet, and straighten your legs. Stay here for a couple more breaths or rock forward to a high plank. From here, chaturanga, elbows, you're going to rock forward, elbows bend only halfway, flip to the tops of your feet, push through palms for up dog. Exhale, we'll meet you back in down dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more inhale. Exhale. We'll flow our sane. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your mat. Toes touch. Lift halfway on your inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise up. Tadasana, mountain pose. Just a little back bend here. Hinge at your elbows. Push your hips forward. Take your inhale and stretch your hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Nice and deep. Inhale, lift halfway. Back is flat. Exhale, plant your palms. Step back. Drop your knees wide, sink your hips, lift your heart, toes to touch, scorpion dog. Exhale, curl toes under, downward facing dog. Stay here or hold your high plank or lower chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, we all meet, downward facing dog. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And we're gonna fold all the way down. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, step back. Drop your knees wide, drop your hips, toes to touch, lift your heart, broaden your collarbone. Toes curl under, hips lift high, down dog. Stay here or High plank pose or chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. One more deep breath out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to speed forward. Exhale. Travel to the top of your mat. Toes will touch. Lift halfway on your inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale to chair pose. Sit your hips low and bring your hands high or if you wish you can bring your hands to heart center. So here is fine, here is fine. Arms can also be wide. Take a big breath in wherever you're at. Send the weight into your heels and let your toes be light. One more inhale here. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, hands to heart center, forward fold. Lift halfway on your inhale, back is flat. 
With an exhale, plant your palms and step back. Lots of choices here. You can go right to down dog and hold, high plank and hold, or chaturanga. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, hips lift. Inhale, your right toes high. Exhale, right knee to, right to nose, your right nose or your only nose. And then bring your shin to your mat. Float your left toes and kick your foot high. Big breath in, stay here, exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, plant your toes and pull your knee back to your nose. And then this time, step it between your hands. You might need to grab your foot and help it to the top. And then find your low lunge. Left hand will plant, right hand will open. Circle out your wrist, that should feel good. Maybe open and close your hand or make a tight fist. And then release your hand back and down. You're gonna take a big circle with your shoulder, brush the ground, and then rise all the way up for high lunge. Hips are square, shoulders are soft, bellies pulled in. On release, a release, gripping toes in the front, so use your whole foot, let your toes be long. Inhale, exhale, open twist to the right. Stretch your arms apart, maybe look back at your back thumb. From here, reverse warrior. You're gonna flatten your left foot. So your back foot flattens, right hand comes up and back. So we'll keep the bend in the front knee. Let your back shoulder and arm be soft. Feel the stretch in your ribs, inhale. Exhale, side angle, forward and down. Lots of options here as well, elbow to thigh. Hand can stay on your hip if that's better for your shoulder. Hand can reach straight up or you lay your bicep right on your ear. Straighten your front leg, reverse triangle. Take a big breath in. And then cartwheel your hands to low lunge and then step back to three-legged plank. So you are gonna hover our toes off the mat for a moment. Push through your palms. You can also do this on your knees. Take one more breath in. One more breath out. And then three-legged dog. Send your toes up. And then downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, let that go. Left side. Inhale, left toes lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Rock forward and touch. And then release your shin to the mat and float your right toes. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, hold. One more inhale. Exhale, release your toes and then pull your knee to your nose. We're going to do that all with one breath when we float. Pull your left foot to the top of your mat. Stack your knee on top of your ankle. Easy twist here, right hand down, left hand high. Reach fingertips apart. Stack shoulder on top of shoulder, twisting at the waist. And then wake up your wrist in any way that makes sense. Open and close your hand. Take a breath in. And then a big shoulder circle, hands back and down. And then brush the ground and come up for high lunge. Trying to pull your left hip bone back and your right hip bone forward. So if there were headlights on your hip bones, they would face front. Inhale. Exhale, open twist. Left hand reaches back. Maybe look at your left thumb. And then that reverse warrior. So a lot happening, twisting at the waist. Your back foot's gonna flatten. Your left hand is gonna reach up and back. Let your shoulder be soft on your leg. Let your front arm reach and separate your ribs with a nice stretch. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Elbow to thigh or fingers stretch. Same arm variations, checking out your knee seeing it stacked right on top of your ankle, even drawing to the pinky side of that foot. Straighten your left leg, reverse triangle, let that feel good in your body. Inhale, exhale, cartwheel your hands to low lunge, and then we're gonna set up three-legged plank. Left toes straight back, floating. Take a breath, and an exhale. And then inhale, left toes high, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, exhale, child's pose, grab a drink pose, or catch your press pose. I'm gonna grab a drink, so I don't lose my voice. And then we're gonna flow. 
one breath, one movement. There'll be just a few things taken out so it moves a little bit smoother. A couple of our holds. All right, inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. You've got options. You can walk or bend your knees and just push off your toes and take a little hop. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold. To your pose, hips drop, hands lift. Inhale. Exhale, airplane your arms. Inhale. Exhale, weights in your heels. One more. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Lift halfway, inhale. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, choices. Take a high plank and hold or chaturanga, lower halfway. Inhale for up dog. Exhale, down dog is where we meet. Inhale, right toes high. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring your shin to the ground, the left toes lift. Inhale. Exhale, plant your toes, drag your knee to your nose and step it through, low lunge. Easy twist, right hand high. Exhale, brush the ground. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle, reaching forward and down. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your legs, but your toes belong. Exhale, cartwheel to low lunge. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale to hold. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right away, left toes lift. Exhale, knee to nose, rock it forward and touch. Drop your shin, inhale, kick your right toes high. Exhale, left knee to nose, step it through, low lunge. Easy twist, left hand high, breath in. Exhale, brushes back and down. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist, left. Inhale, reverse warrior, left hand up and back. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, straighten your leg. Exhale, cartwheel your hands, find your low lunge. Inhale, three-legged table or um, high plank pose. Exhale, hold. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, two breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale. Inhale, see your hands. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Lift halfway on your inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale to your pose, sit low, reach high. Bring your hands to your heart and hold. So you can stay here if you have a curl practice or want to start when. Bring your palms to touch. Separate your feet hip distance. Bend your elbows back to make a bridge uh, shelf with your triceps. You can just tap your knees onto your triceps and that can be enough or pull your belly button to your spine, float one toe and maybe the other. Breathe for three, back to chair in two, and one, plant your feet, inhale, chair pose, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant your palms and step back, holding your high plank or lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, deep breath in, let it go, I need another one, inhale, exhale, inhale, right toes lift, one more time through, exhale, knee to nose, inhale, left toes lift, exhale, knee to nose, step it through, inhale, easy twist, exhale, sweep it down and around, Breath in, high lunge, open twist, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your leg. Exhale, cartwheel, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged high plank, exhale. Inhale, three-legged down dog, exhale, down dog. Last time, last side. Breath in, lift your left toes high. Exhale, rock forward, knee to nose. Drop your shin, inhale, kick your toes. Exhale, knee to nose.
step it through, low lunge. Breath in, open twist. Exhale, sweep it back and down. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, triangle. Exhale, cartwheels to low lunge. Inhale, three-legged high plank. Exhale. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice work. Knees wide, toes touch. Child's pose or grab a drink pose. Catch your breath. <sighs> We're going to move on from there. Take a deep breath in. Open mouth exhale. Whew. Meeting back in. Downward facing dog. Inhale your right toes high. Bend your knee and stack your hip. So this should feel good in your right hip flexor. Left heel can kind of melt toward the ground. Staying here is good. Or if you want to flip your dog, you're going to pivot on your left leg. Plant your right toes outside of your mat. And then pivot on both feet. Send your hips to the sky and your gaze and your fingers to the picture of my dog, Killy. Nice. Inhale. Exhale. Flip on back. Right toes high. And then lizard pose. Right foot right next to right hand. So you're going to stack your knee on top of your ankle. You're going to hug your right knee to the shoulder and push your shoulder back into the knee. Take another breath in. Drop your hips. Broaden through your collarbone and then ease your knee to the ground. Take a twist, right hand to right thigh, push forward and down. Let your left hip ease toward your mat. Option if you want a quad stretch, I don't know if my knee's gonna cooperate, but you can just lift your foot or maybe you reach back and capture it. And then release your toes if you took that stretch. Plant both hands and then walk them back any amount Straightening this leg. This can be hard for people to reach the ground, so your water bottle or your block can give you a little more space, a little more length in your arms. Otherwise, folding your body toward the mat, energetically dragging your right heel back and floating your toes toward the sky. And then go ahead and crawl forward. Feel your back toes under. From here, you're gonna push off your back toes and come into a froggy squat top of your mat. So you can stay high if this works better on your knees, but if it works in your body, you can drop your hips between your heels. See if you can lift your heart up. Use your elbows inside your knees to stretch into your hip sockets a little bit more. So pulling your knees apart. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, rewind. Plant your palms and send your left toes way back. And then three-legged dog, right leg up and back, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left toes lift. Bend your knees, stack your hip. Again, staying right here or flipping your dog, placing your foot, pivoting, pushing into your heels, and then reaching with your gaze and your fingertips. And then rewind, replant your hands, send your left toes high. And then lizard pose, left foot right outside your left hand. Line up your forearm and your shin, and then pull your knee towards your shoulder. Push your shoulder towards your knee. Drop your hips any amount. And then moving into that twist if you want it, right knee can come down. Uncurl your back toes, left hand to left thigh. Push forward and down, looking over your shoulder. Option to bend your right knee and maybe capturing your foot. Try to soften into that sensation of holding on in your knee, in your quadricep. And then release your foot, plant both hands, and then walk them back again if you need a water bottle or a block under your hands so your feet, your hands can reach the ground a little easier. Take that option energetically dragging your left heel back, melting your torso towards your mat, flexing your toes toward the ceiling.
and then go ahead and crawl forward. Move this out of the way. Curl your back toes under, come back to your froggy squat at the top of your mat. So feel free to stay here high or low. If you want to take a wide crow, I honestly think this one is easier than a regular crow. You're going to plant your palms on the ground. So my elbows are touching my knees, my palms are on the ground. This is just enough of a stretch as well. Come up to your tiptoes. Again, you can stay there or go ahead and squeeze your knees into your elbows and float your toes. Breathe for three, two, and one. Go ahead and step your uh, right toe back, so rewind, and then left leg comes up and back, three-legged dog, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Inhale your right toes high, exhale to low lunge. Now spin your back heel flat, so your feet might need to be a little bit closer, and both feet have their own lane, so if there was a line between my uh, in the middle of my mat, my right foot would be on the right side, my left foot would be on the left side. And then rise up for warrior one. So again, hips are square to the front, shoulders are square to the front, bend into your front knee, inhale. And then exhale your hands to your heart, skandasana to the back, or skandasana variation. So I'm going to pivot my foot so it's parallel, or pointing toward you, and then flex my back toes. So I like it this high because my knees don't always want to cooperate, but keeping your knee tracking over your toes, you can also come way lower where your hips come to your back heel. So feel free to take it lower if that works better in your body. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Release your fingers to your toe, your, to the mat, and then you're going to push off your front foot and come into a forward fold at the back of your mat and then come into chair pose. Take a breath in, exhale, prayer twist. Bring your elbow outside your opposite thigh. Belly pulls in, hips drop. Stay and breathe. Maybe twist and look over your shoulder. So really working on our fascia through our torso by pushing into the bones of our body to stack and twist a little deeper. Option for a side crow if you want to. So you're gonna come down, hips to the heels. Plant your palms again, making those shelves, and then lay your thigh on the shelves of your triceps. You come up to your tiptoes and then just tap them in. Ankles can stay tight or you can fly your legs open. And when you are ready, forward fold. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Toe heel your feet apart, capture your big toes and hang out here for a moment. Let this feel like a release, catch your breath, Nice. I'll be right back. My doggy, Kilimanjaro. All right. Toe heel your feet to touch and then slowly roll to stand. Once you get to the top, send your hands high. Exhale, hands to heart. Front knee bends, open it up like a gate and then slide the inside of your right foot or the bottom of your right foot inside your left leg tree pose. Pause here. We're going to take a different arm variation. So bring your hands wide and open. So think shoulders, elbows, and wrists nice and soft. And then wrap it up like a hug, but your right arm is going to be underneath your left. So the one in front, you're getting mixed up on your right and left. So give yourself a hug. Pause here, maybe even close your eyes. Some of us, like I said earlier, might be missing this. Some of the people we hug normally and regularly maybe aren't in our life right now because of the pandemic. So self-hug, self-love is a good thing. You can keep your arms in this hug or take eagle arms. So just bring the backs of your hands together and cross at your wrists. Elevate your elbows away from your chest, hands away from face. And then bend your left knee and slide your right leg over for eagle pose. Take the full wrap if you wish. Elbows come high, hands come away from your face. Breathe. And 
and then unravel your arms, hands come to your hips. Send your right knee up, flex your toes towards the sky. Take your right hand to your right knee, or if you wish, capture your big toe. Leg can stay bent, or you can kick your heel out front, and then if you have your knee or your toe, you might open it to the side. Option to extend your other arm long, and maybe take your gaze to your thumb and forefinger. Take one more breath in, and then come back to center. Release your foot, take, it, take up a little more space, inhale, exhale, hands to heart. Right away, left knee lifts, inhale, exhale, pivot and turn. Inhale, right knee lifts, take a small step, exhale, airplane pose, pause. Heart is lifted, toes and fingers are reaching. Option to take it into warrior three. Hands can sweep long and out in front, biceps alongside your ears. We're here for three, back to warrior one in two and one. Bend your knee, plant your foot. Rise all the way up, warrior one pose. Inhale, exhale, inhale, hands high. Exhale, airplane your arms and just bow and fold. We're gonna take a humble warrior flow. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, drape them back. Inhale, hands high. This time hold, interlace your hands behind your back. You might need to widen your stance. So taking your right toe and toe heeling it out to the right. So you have a little more room. Take a breath in, lift your heart. Exhale, hinging at your hips. Take a nice flat back and then drop the top of your head to the floor and lift your knuckles toward the sky. Breathe. Let everything just roll off your back. On your next inhale, rise up slowly on an inhale here. Release your hands back to warrior one and then straighten your front leg, preparing for pyramid pose. You might need a prop here, so your water bottle or your block, bring it inside your foot. Take a breath in and then pyramid pose, pyramid stretch. We're gonna hinge on our hips with our flat back, biceps right alongside our ears, reach long, long, long. And then about halfway down or whenever your body starts to round, pause your body and release your hands to your shin, your water bottle, or maybe the floor. Pull your right hip back, pull your belly button in. Inhale, exhale. Option to take this into a twist. Take your left hand, the opposite hand of your foot, push down to open up. Breathe for three, two, and one. Release both hands down, plant your palms, Step back, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, inhale, exhale. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Last one, inhale, exhale. Left side, inhale, left toes lift. Exhale, low lunge. Spin your back heel flat. Make sure both feet are in their own lane and rise for warrior one. Squaring shoulders to the front. Tuck your tailbone toward your back heel. Inhale. Exhale, skandasana to the back. So hands to your heart. Pivot your foot so it's pointed away from the camera. And then flex your left toes again. Go as low as it feels right in your body. You can stay up high with me or drop your tailbone right back to your heel. Take one more big breath in. And then release your fingers. Float your front toes to the back and come right into pr um, prayer pose, for chair, chair with prayer arms. Take a big breath in, exhale, and twist it out. Elbow outside your thigh, push palm into palm to twist deeper, pull your belly button in, pause and hold. Now if you wanna try a side crow on this side, you're gonna drop your hips to your heels, plant your hands flat, and then come up to your tiptoes, make that shelf with both triceps by bending your elbows back towards your hips and then walk them away and float your toes in your mount. Stay here as long as you wish or you got two more breaths. <laughs> Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. When you're ready, feel free to meet in a forward fold. 
So this time we're going to slide our palms under our feet. For gorilla pose, see if you can bring your toes to kiss your wrist. Let your head hang heavy. And then go ahead and release your hands. Toe heel your feet to touch with soft knees. Roll to stand. Send your hands overhead, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart. Bend your knee, open it up like a gate. Bottom of your foot, anywhere inside the opposite leg. So the knee pointing to the front. And now send your arms wide. Joints are soft, and then we'll take that giant hug, left arm under right. Wrap yourself up, give yourself a squeeze. Let this feel good in your body. And again, keep yourself hug or eagle arms, bringing the backs of your hands together and maybe crossing at the wrists. So your arms are tangled like ropes. Pull your elbows away from your chest, hands away from your face. And then eagle legs, float your left thigh on top of your right and maybe kick your ankle so that the top of your left foot is pushing against the back of your right calf. Breathe. And then we're going to unravel our arms, first hands to hips. Straighten our right leg, left knee bends, float your toes. Left hand to left knee, it can stay right here, or reach down and capture your toes, kick your heel away, leg can be straighter bent, and then open it up. Option, extend the opposite hand, challenge your balance by looking at your extended arm. And then with core strength, we're going to come back to center, release your toes, take a big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart, stand down right away, right toes lift, inhale. Exhale, put them down just to pivot. One more inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, small step, airplane pose. Shoulder blades pull together, belly pulls in. Stay here in your airplane. You can always keep those back toes touching down too in rocket right here. So finding that balance with a little more support or moving right into warrior three. Breathe for three. Warrior one in two. And one, soften your knee, plant your foot. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale. We'll flow our humble warrior. Inhale. Exhale, hinging at your hips and your toes or your fingers up and back, breath in, scoop it up. Exhale, let it go. One more to lift up, pause here. Release your hands behind your back. Interlace all 10 fingers, squeeze your palms, lift your heart, inhale. Exhale, humble warrior. So again, you might need to toe heel your left foot up to the left to make room for that shoulder. Top of your head reaches for the ground, knuckles reach as high any amount. Last two, and rise on one. Push through your front leg, release your hands up high, pyramid stretch. Again, if you need a prop, maybe grab your block or your water bottle, put it on the inside of your left foot. Inhale, exhale, hinge with a flat back. So feel your spine. As long as it's flat, keep releasing to the ground when it starts to round, pause. Hands to shins, your block or water bottle, or to the ground. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, reach to the top of your head. Exhale, lengthen your front leg. And then if you want to take that twist, you can plant your hand actually on the mat or your foot even, or put it outside your left foot, depending on your own flexibility underneath a water bottle, and then peel open. Stacking shoulder on top of shoulder, twisting at the waist. Breathe for three. The last two. And one, release your hands, move your water bottle, and step back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop your knees to the ground. Keep your toes curled under, walk your hands back. We'll take a little foot stretch right here. Nice work. We're staying on the ground. Good job. So this is a great stretch for your feet. It can be pretty intense. Feel free to have your hands on the ground if you 
Uh, if this is too much, we'll tap it out in just a moment. Inhale. Exhale. And then go ahead and walk forward. Uncurl your toes, tap them out. And then straighten your legs for a high plank. Tuck your tailbone towards your heels and then lower all the way to your belly. We'll just do a couple of spine strengthening postures from here. So elbows hug in tight, zip your legs together, push your toes down and peel your chest up. Think of pulling your belly button to your spine and pushing your hip tones into the mat and squeezing your glutes. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release your right ear to the mat, arms along your sides, be a noodle. Let your body be soft. And then bring your chin back to center. Option to have your palms facing your legs, facing the floor, or interlace all 10 fingers behind your hips. Squeeze your palms together, lift your shoulders, lift your chin, lift your feet. Now reach the top of your head away, your toes away, and then lift your hands and heels up. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, release your locust pose, left ear on the mat. Let your body be soft. Bring your chin back to center, plant your hands on the corners of your mat, and then push into your palms for cobra pose. So try to keep your shoulders out of your ears, find the length, see if you can get your hip bones off your mat, Keep your heart lifted. And now drop your elbows for Sphinx Pose. So now your elbows are at a right angle, so your shoulders are right on top. Pause here. So letting your hips ease to the floor, let your belly be soft, draw your shoulder blades together, lift your sternum, and then turn over and look over your left shoulder. And then turn and look over your right shoulder. and then come back to center, walk your hands back. Take a cat pose, chin to chest, arch around. And then go ahead, lift your hips high, down dog, moving into pigeon pose, half pigeon pose. So your right toes can float any amount and layer the top of your shin across the top of your mat. Now this pose, some of you I know do, do, do on your back. Feel free to go on your back if this does not feel right in your knee or ankle. We're gonna do a three-part pigeon. So first, stack your shoulders over your hips. And no, like I said, anything that doesn't feel right, please skip or modify. You can stay up high, you don't need to come down. But we're gonna take this three ways. So the first way, we're gonna take our right hand straight out and stack our palms and interlace all 10 fingers. So with that interlace fingers, you can adjust your shoulders. So pulling your bottom hand away and pushing your top shoulder back. Or just softening into your upper body and just let this big stretch happen in your hips. And then plant your left hand right by your face to push down and reach your right hand, or um, Reach your, and then plant your right hand. And the left arm is gonna thread underneath your right. Drop to your left shoulder and left cheek. Take your right hand for a half bind around your back and maybe capture your big toe. And then release, plant both hands. Lift yourself back up and then go ahead and fold right in your traditional pigeon pose. Maybe forehead to your mat, maybe your hands are stacked or you put your head on a block. Wherever you're at, try to soften into your hips. Stay here for a couple more breaths. and then slowly come up, rock onto your front hip and extend your legs wide for a straddle stretch. So sit up tall, knees might need to be bent so that your shoulders can stack over your hips. Flex your toes towards your face, turn your body. 
to one leg, take a breath in, and exhale, crawl toward that leg, keeping the opposite hip bone on the ground. So you might stay up high, or you might drop your forehead right to your knee. Using the leg as leverage, you can pull on it to take it a little bit deeper. You're nice and warm, so you can kind of move a little deeper into some of these stretches. And then rise up and switch sides. Frame your body, frame your arms on either side of your leg, framing your body so it's pointed right at that leg and then folding down, keeping your right hip bone on the mat, knowing that one side will be a little more flexible than the other. And then walk yourself back up. Bend your knees, bring your knees to touch. Roll onto your tabletop, downward facing dog, and then pigeon on the left side. So if you do this on your back, feel free to go there now. Otherwise, extend your leg and then lay your shin across the top of your mat. Right leg goes long. And then we'll take that three parts. So first you're gonna turn uh, towards your foot, so the foot that's bent. You're gonna lay your shoulder on the ground, stack your palms if that works. Breathe. And then go ahead and rise up. We're going to switch. So now thread your right arm underneath. Lay your cheek down. And then this top arm can wrap around, perhaps by maybe capturing your big toe. And then third and final part, place your hand. You can get a little stuck here. I've had to help people out of that one a couple times. And so again, staying right here or folding down and then just notice if those two kind of preset, pre-half pigeons gave you a little more room in this traditional pose. Maybe your hips are laying a little closer to your leg. And then go ahead and send your weight or walk your hands back. Send your weight into your left hip, but let's stretch both legs out in front. Flex your toes toward your face, legs are bent or straight. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, hinging at your hips, grab onto your shins or your knees. Pull your heart towards your toes and relax and release your torso towards your leg. And then inhale, rise up with a towel or a shirt. Maybe grab your block. We're going to take legs up the wall pose with support. So we're rolling onto your shoulders and onto your back. Legs up the wall pose. I like support, especially for those of us that have tight hamstrings. By putting this little bit of a uh, wedge under our hips, takes the effort out of this pose. And our legs find that kind of sweet spot of floating magically above our head. Feels pretty good. here a little bit longer or release your block plant your feet one set of bridge pose pushing your heel feet or hip distance apart or at sits bone distance apart pushing your heels and peel your back up push into your flat feet lift your hips a little higher squeeze your glutes a little more take one more breath in and then slowly lower all the way onto your back draw your knees into your chest and then Supta Baddha Konasana, bottoms of your feet to touch, knees wide, or your feet can be wide and your knees can touch. One hand to heart, one hand to belly. And then bring your hands to your thighs, draw your knees together to touch, and then bring them in, reach between your legs, capture the bottoms of your feet or your ankles for happy baby pose. Go ahead and massage your whole spine. Chin is slightly tucked, so more of your upper back is on your mat. And then 
we'll take a supine twist to end. Right knee comes in, left leg goes long. Give it a squeeze, hug your elbows in tight. Still feel that little pinch in your hip flexor. And then scoot your left hip under and ease your knee across your body. Maybe take your hand out wide and follow your gaze with your hands or your hand with your gaze. back to center and we'll switch legs. Left leg comes in, right leg goes long. First give it that squeeze, feel that pinch in your hip flexor, elbows come tight and then ease your knee across your body. Maybe scoot your hip under and then turn away from that knee, keeping both shoulders flat. chest, give them a squeeze, take a giant breath in, maybe you can cross your wrists and grab the bottoms of your feet, big breath in, as you're ready, exhale to Shavasana, corpse pose, take up space on your mat, let your limbs be long, shimmy your shoulder blades together, release your upper back, let your torso melt into your mat, and just breathe. Shavasana. Please stay here as long as you wish. I will send my friends to guide you through this practice. I look forward to the time we can meet in person again. Namaste.